Hi, 8th grade. Welcome to my Prezi presentation on Punnett squares predicting genetic outcomes. Let's get started. For a quick review, remember that each trait in an individual is determined by at least two factors called genes. And each gene has different forms called alleles. Now, there are two different types of alleles. There are dominant alleles and recessive alleles. Dominant alleles will show their effect on the phenotype whenever they are present in the genotype. The way to know that an allele is dominant is because it is represented by an uppercase letter. And in this case, uppercase T. You can see it here. You can see it here. The other type of allele is called a recessive allele and they will show their effect on the phenotype only when two of them for a trait are present in the genotype. Recessive traits are usually represented by a lowercase letter, and in this case you see the recessive traits here in the lowercase t and the lowercase t. Homozygous versus heterozygous. Homozygous means you have two of the same allele for a trait. So in this case, both of the letters are exactly the same. You have two uppercase, dominant alleles or two lowercase recessive alleles. And in this particular example below, we have some flowers. Uh, purple is a dominant trait and the white flowers are the recessive trait. So right here we have a homozygous dominant genotype for purple flowers, the two uppercase P's. And right here we have a recessive trait for white flowers, and you can see that by the two lowercase p's. Remember recessive traits, two recessive alleles, two lowercase letters. Now, if a genotype is heterozygous, it means you have two different alleles for a trait. And you know something is heterozygous because it has one uppercase letter and one lowercase letter. And in this example, we have an uppercase p and a lowercase p, so we know this is a heterozygous genotype. But the flowers are going to be purple because it has that dominant allele. Whenever you see the dominant allele, you know that dominant is always present over the recessive. So you will definitely, the trait comes out in the, in the phenotype, which would be the purple flowers. Okay, so our objective for this whole lesson is going to be identifying the results shown by a Punnett square. You did some reading in your textbook. You might know a little bit about Gregor Mendel, and I have another video for him coming up. Uh, you may have read a little bit about Punnett squares and Reginal Punnett, but uh, we're going to go into a little bit more detail. So 50 years after Mendel's work was published, Reginald Punnett developed a chart called a Punnett square. Punnett squares are great because they help you understand and make genetic predictions. Scientists use it as a model to predict possible offspring between different organisms known as genotypes. So if you know the genotypes of the two parents, you can use a Punnett square to find out what the genotypes and phenotypes would be of the possible children. So I made a video about Punnett squares to teach you how to do a Punnett square. Um, so it's in a separate video. It's um, listed under this video on Edmodo. So you can access this one, you can watch it as many times as you need to, and use it to complete the worksheet uh, that goes along with this Prezi presentation. Um, and of course, as always, contact me with questions or concerns um, on Edmodo or um, by email. Thanks.